Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining us here in Fallout 4. I'm RJ joining up with KMAC. Yo, what's going on? We have some huge news that was just dropped. We're very excited to talk about it here in this episode. Hell yeah. We're also going to venture into the Glowing Sea. This is a very eerie area here in the Commonwealth. And we recommend if you do want to come here yourself, definitely get some power armor. Yeah. Because there's high levels of radiation. Yeah, definitely one of the trippiest parts in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing you know else in the game quite looks like this place. Um, you get the crazy radiation storms that happen. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it, the way that they designed this, you could tell this is obviously like close to the blast point of where the bomb hit. Definitely. And uh, I mean, the amount of detail they did, these branches and everything, it just it looks awesome. Yeah, one thing I want to point out is a lot of this game seems to look... So a little bit similar to uh, to Washington from from uh, Fallout Three, but this is a location that I've never seen before in a Fallout game. Right. Of course, before this, it almost looks like Mars, especially the further south that we head. Yeah, and we'll check that out as we go over some uh, major news here. First of all, we have to congratulate Fallout Four as it is the game of the year as announced at the uh, recent Dice Awards. Rightfully so, came out. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely one of the best games I've ever played. So I think it's definitely going to win some awards this year. Oh, yeah. And uh, considering what they've already promised and announced for the game, which we're going to talk about here shortly, it just shows you this game is going to be massive, even bigger than it already is. Right. And it's going to have a major lifespan. Yeah. A lot to uh, look forward to. Starting off with the first DLC, Kyle. Yeah. The Automatron Fallout 4 DLC. It is a robot-themed uh, expansion here. We'll be okay. able to take out robots. They're going to unleash all new robots into nice. the Commonwealth. And we'll be able to harvest their equipment that we get from the robots, use them for our own robot companions. Nice. So have a nice little robot following around for, for a minute. Oh, hell yeah. And you use companions a lot. What do you think about a robot that you customize? It's almost like battle bots here in Fallout 4. Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome, man. You have a fucking robot falling around, blasting people. That'd, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. So uh, that is going to be the first of the three. Uh, it's, it's a trio of DLCs. Oh, okay. Um, that one is going to cost about 10 bucks, and you'll see it early 2016 in March, so next month. Uh, really looking forward to that. Robots something we see a lot in this game, you know? You'll just be exploring, and, and next thing you know, you're dealing with this gigantic freaking robot. It uh, has no mercy on you, and then yeah. it goes into self-destruct mode to make things even worse. Yeah. So it's going to be cool to see what new concoctions they have as far as uh, deadly robots here in the game. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. I hate, I hate coming across robots, man. They're a pain in the ass. Oh, they're sometimes. deadly. They're not... It just takes a while to blow them up. In fact, I came into an encounter with a uh, death claw. And, uh, yeah, you know, those huge robots kind of look like tanks a little right. bit. Yep. And I was worried about the death claw, but that thing went down pretty fast. It was the robot afterwards that was definitely, uh oh, I thought I heard something. That was definitely the harder uh, creature to take rad out. Rad scorpion. Rad scorpion. Giant scorpions. Yeah. A couple shotgun blasts to the face. Always a, a must in an environment like this. So... Robots have been unleashed into the Commonwealth. You can harvest their parts and build your own robot companion, customize paint schemes and vocals as well, just to sum up the very first DLC that we'll be getting. Which way you think we should head next, K Mac? It's uh, getting it's deadly head, out here. Head like south, uh, west. Southwest, corner. you think? Look yeah. at that, though. Let's, the go, let's, go, let's see how far we can go. Southwest it is. All right, I see a cave over there that I've yet to uh, discover. Interesting. Not yeah, sure what would be in a cave. Uh, that's, a, that's a guy that you're going to meet. It's going to help you in your uh, path to find your son. You think? Interesting. Yep. All right, well, let's continue forth. Now, uh, the next DLC coming after that one will be the Wasteland Workshop. I think you're going to like this, Kyle, because you'll be able to set cages and catch things in these traps. Oh, so nice. perhaps a death claw. I hear you can also catch random mercenaries. That's kind of funny. Yeah. And then you can train the death claws. Talk about robots That's... being your companion. Maybe you'll pass that up to, to train your own death claw. Now, I wonder what the size of these cages are because, like I said, they have 
Damn, we got going on down here. Something with that water. What's that to the left? Not getting any vats for eating at all. Something's something's going on here. Oh, oh. sneak attack here, you bastard! Take that sniper shot to the head. Another rad scorpion. Yep. Yeah, there, there's a ton of these down here. Make sure you aim for the head when facing off with those bastards. <laughs> But uh, catching but, things in cages, I mean, yeah, I mean hopefully if, they have multiple forms of cages as well. And if you can tame them and control them and they'll have that as a companion, yeah, that would be ridiculous. And I wonder what the sizes of them are because they do in the game, I forget what the hell they call them, but they're huge. He's like 20 feet tall. He's a big, like, ogre beast. He mm -hmm. throws rocks at you. I would try to get him in that cage and then tame him. Imagine having that guy following you around. Oh, that would be, <laughs> oh, geez, a <laughs> destructive force on top of our characters who are destructive at this point as well. And not even to mention how much you could store on him. You could probably have, like, so much shit. He could probably, you know, he's so strong, you could probably carry a ton of That's stuff. That's a good point. I haven't been using that method to my advantage as much. I know you have been walking around with a definite strong character, yeah. So he can carry a lot for you on top I, of I, your own. Yeah, I, I'm straight scavenger, man. I take everything I can, and I just take a trip into town, sell it all, and then you know go right back and you know, and you can load up a bunch. I'm using strong. He's you know he's one of the the mutant beast guys, you know the big green guys, and he's uh you know you can put a sh he can hold a shit ton of weight. Must concentrate here. The master lock. Uh, oh, a little bit more. There we go. There you go. Hopefully it's something good. Some ammo. Always some ammo. We'll take it. And I'm glad that they have that the ammo does not weigh anything in this game. That's that would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, and that's that's of course been the case with past. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad that they games. kept that the same. Yeah, because we need that, man. We have to hoard as much <laughs> ammo as possible. And we do have uh, some rumors of a new Bethesda game we're going to get to here at the end of this episode. As we explore this red rock, it seems flooded. Doesn't seem like we have to uh, to deal with too much around here. Nothing Glass too bowl, deadly. huh? Nice little piece there. <laughs> hey, you might need it when walking around in a wasteland. Now that's something that they need to have a DLC add. You know, you should be able to harvest you know, certain kinds of plants. Make you feel mm -hmm. better. Uh, much like in uh, Resident Evil, where you have to use the green herb, mix it with the red herb. Yeah, and the yellow. You know. and the yellow herb, yep. absolutely. A little combo. All right, not too bad. Found Throwing that random ammo. black, that black herb, too. <laughs> I'm always in the lookout, or on the lookout for uh, stim packs in locations like this. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, well, Did I miss a stim first pack. First aid pack somewhere. Yeah, usually in bathrooms, but... I think this all was like backup from the toilet, so you're like walking around yeah. and, and, you I know... Think years of of toxic nuclear shit that's just been floating around yeah good thing we're in the po the uh, power armor yeah now the final dlc that has been announced so far this one's very exciting now it's worth 25 bucks so it's very expensive for a dlc but that lets you know it's going to be a massive game world yeah. Let's see, we're heading. Should we head a little bit towards? Yeah, the this cave is going to be ridiculous. Um, it's called Far Harbor. It's going to be about 25 bucks. It'll release in May. Now, a new case from Valentine is going to send you to Maine, and apparently there's going to be a lot to do. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. It's going to be the biggest DLC possibly we've ever seen from you, Bethesda or really any game. You need that cage. And time you to better run. run. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and do a quick save here. Uh... Shotgun blast to the face. Shotgun. Now, I have this staggering oh, overcharged Institute rifle. Good thing about these guns, you know, if you just pretty much spam it, and you're going to see them stagger. So at least that is a good way to slow them down. Yeah, you want to, you wanna, if you can do like a quick switch, go from that and then mm -hmm. hit your sniper and hit the vats real quick, get a couple shots off on his head. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't have the most ammo for that. Also, it would be nice if I had a... Oh, what do we have here? I don't know if you want to go in there. It might be... Can he make it through? Kind of looks like... Oh, yeah, there you go. All I'd be right. grenading his ass. Let's go ahead and switch it to this bad boy and just open fire. Oh, yeah. That's the way to do it, buddy. Sorry, but you indeed are a dumbass. I will take make your sure meat in hand. Uh, no, yeah, you might want to be careful in here. What the hell is going on? It's like, like a spider's area. 
Dead. Reminds me of uh, possibly Lord of the Rings. Yeah, exactly. If it was an apocalyptic uh, environment. What the hell is going yeah, on? It's... Very creepy. What do we have? Uh, looks like a tunnel here. Is that in there? What is this? A subway tunnel or something? I don't know. Subway something cars? Like smashed upside down or something. Would not surprise me if we ran into some ghouls down here. We'll have to find out. So they are saying, oh, never mind. Already out on the other side of the tunnel. That's interesting. Worked out. I think it just was uh, maybe put there to try to combat against the deadly death claws. Yeah. Worked out well. Yep. Now uh, they are saying this is only the beginning of DLC and expansions. Not only will they have paid expansions, but they also are promising free updates as well. Yeah, and that's, you know, this is going to be amazing to have added part to the map. This is going to have, you know, there's going to be all new stuff to do. I mean, that, that's great that they're going to keep releasing this kind of stuff. I mean, really, they could keep this game going on for a long time. Just keep adding new little missions, new little mm -hmm. stuff that you can do. As it seems like they're going, going to. play it. Yeah, I mean, i still got a lot left to play in this game. I've been taking my time with it, but um, now, now that I know they're already going to start adding new stuff, you know, I need to go ahead and try to beat this. Hell yeah, yeah. The main storyline. Oh boy. I want to stay away from all those old bugs. That'd be a pain Bastards. in the ass. Bastards. Maybe try to get old Reba here from the uh, distance with a critical. That bloat fly. Get out of here. Black bloat fly. Criticals. Man, so it just so feels so good to take yeah. out these guys with those I criticals. I usually save them. I save them for those big guys like the death claw and stuff just to get some you know, health knocked off of them. Damn, look at this place. This, yeah, this is, is awesome down here. Completely trippy, guys. Awesome to uh, go on an adventure down here. Last thing I want to talk about here, Kyle, E3 2016. We've yeah. already talked about it a couple times right. when it comes to some other games. Well, last year, what is this, another Scorpion? Last year, Bethesda had the biggest announcement of all. Oh, no, hit a rock. They had the biggest announcement of all with Fallout 4, the game we're playing right now. Right. But the game many, many, many people want, including myself, would be an all, oh boy, crawling through the mud, yeah. an all new Elder Scrolls game. Skyrim is an absolute masterpiece. Right. But that, that's for the Xbox 360. Oh, geez. We got a uh, ambush here of, of scorpions. Yeah, you got two one, yeah. I think we got the whole family here. Uh oh, going on the ground. Oh, claw and a death there. claw. Son of a bitch. Up on top of that mountain. Might want to try to... Mountain. I'm thinking if we can maybe get the scorpions to go against the death claw, we can, yeah, uh, you can do that. distract them right. and then kill them both. That's one good aspect of this game. There is a lot of interaction going on. Mm -hmm. So E3 2016, we are hearing. In fact, many people are anticipating the announcement of a new Elder Scrolls game. Wow. Damn, this guy is fast as a motherfucker. Better keep my distance. Oh, didn't man mean to throw it that way. <laughs> At least I'm creating a protective yeah, shield of fire. Kamikaze uh, motion there. Damn, you bastard. You use your vest and you got him. Oh, I took out my right leg. How dare you? Close up shot with this shotgun. Oh, that legendary glowing. It's gonna turn red. Oh, he mutated. Mutated. We have a mutation. Um, so an announcement of the new Elder Scrolls game would blow my mind. Because not only do we have Fallout 4, if they can manage to give us a new not Skyrim, but Elder Scrolls game right. that quickly. Uh, that said, I expect it if we do get an announcement, it probably is just gonna let us know that it's in production. Just Give us the uh, the wink that, hey, we're going to give this game to you guys. Probably won't come for the next year or so, but I'd love to know that it is in production, and that would be the number game we'd number one game we'd be looking forward I mean, to for quite some time. I wouldn't be surprised if, if they already had it going and we're, we're going to release it this year. I mean, they're obviously trying, trying to ride the wave off of this game into that one, so how long do you, you know, how long do you go in between the games? I mean, mm -hmm. this is a powerhouse. They obviously want to do a lot of DLCs, so I can see, you know, what you mean about, yeah, probably not this year, but next year it's definitely coming out. and oh, build yeah. a lot of anticipation for it. Big time. Um, right now, Bethesda is the number one 
game developer, in my opinion. They just come out with rock solid games yeah. every time. Yep. And uh, K Mac, you never really got into uh, Skyrim, but now you're into Fallout. Yeah. They share really many of the same aspects, completely right. different environments, but, uh, you know, of course, same developer doing some of the same things in both games. I think them releasing a new Elder Scrolls on this console as well we're playing on the xbox one but you also have playstation as well as the pc there i think you would be so excited to see that game oh awesome. yeah yeah definitely i mean i just never had the time to play skyrim that was my yeah. problem with that game i you know i just never really got into it didn't really have the time to do it but uh these games are awesome you got another death claw coming after you hey why not uh conclude the episode with a epic battle against everybody's favorite the death claw as we hope to finally train them once and for all and use them to our advantage. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. But uh, one of the main reasons why I think you would like a new Skyrim, or new Elder Scrolls, as I said, is uh, you like the the uh, Lord of the Rings franchise, oh, The yeah. Hobbit. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, fighting like a dragon or something would be awesome. Mm -hmm. It'd be amazing. Yeah, it, it's just a cool way to, to amass yourself in a universe just like that. All right. But, I think uh, the one day when it's virtual reality, got that Oculus Rift and you're playing it. Oh, that would be incredible. <laughs> Especially the archery. I, mean, I would love to do that. Take the staggering plasma cells or whatever. I hit him with that. And, uh, what's he running now? Headshot with the snipe. Oh, wow. Oh, don't miss. Oh, Damn. jump off yeah. the side. Oh, he oh, caught us. Oh, he ride you all down to the ground. Damn. Oh, he held you. Yeah, picked us up as we jumped off the side. Pretty impressive. So uh, Fallout 4, Kyle, yeah. they're sending us to Maine. $25 DLC coming up a little bit later on in the year. We know we'll probably be in the Northeast for a lot of these DLCs. Any location that you'd like to visit you know, as an upcoming DLC, they're promising many more. Now, what do you think? What I'd like to see is you know, kind of more like your settlement's coming under attack of like different you know mutants and stuff like that really force these people you know force everybody to really build up those areas and and have you know have a reason to have turrets and shit up there to protect yourself yeah i know you've kind of, kind of complained a little bit because you have some major fortresses built up yeah. around the commonwealth but and for nothing yeah they haven't been attacked even though you're ready for a war and I, I think that's something they're Bethesda. definitely going to add to the game. I mean, they have to. Yeah, I want to see some Deathclaws trying to fucking raid my village. All my people shooting them, killing them. Oh, yeah. And I think you are definitely going to receive that. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure to stay tuned for a lot more, as we just learned, from Fallout 4. Bethesda, the absolute best. Man, they are hooking us up big time. And right now, this is the best game going. You know, Grand Theft Auto V, still a lot happening there. We expect some DLCs, but Bethesda, this game just seems endless. Yeah, it's definitely, one. like I said, one of the best games I've really ever played. So Must play. Yep, definitely. You must own this game if you're a fan <laughs> of video games. Yeah, especially with the RPG aspects. Gotta love a game that... Is so customizable. Right, and but it's it's also kind of like the hybrid too. I mean, you could be a first person shooter if you want to look at it that way as well. I mean, you're running around, you you be first person shooting people. You don't have to always use that, you know, the mode with the vats. You don't always have to use that, and then the freedom to play the game how you want to. You can be a dick if you want to. You can be super nice helping guy. Um, changing the stories like your storyline is completely different right now than my storyline and the way my shit is and. That's what's great about the game. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again, guys. We'll catch you very soon here in the Commonwealth. As always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.